so hey guys it's becky and we are back with another house it's not really renovation anymore it's more just getting it sorted um vlog so uh yeah stay tuned if you want to see what i'm up to So hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. Um, hello if you're new there. Um, I tend to do a lot of plus size fashion on my channel, um, but I've just bought my first house. And um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of content obviously around that. Um, so today, um, in this video, I think we're gonna be getting my second bedroom, which I'm using, oh my God, I got, this is my lunch guys i have got the messiest mouth um so so sorry <laughs> um but today and over the next couple of days not doing this all in one day um i'm sorting my second bedroom slash office slash dressing room situation sorted um elephant in the room is all my makeup um so if you didn't know i haven't really st i don't do a lot of makeup content if i'm honest because i've never had a really good place to film it until now um but i love makeup um a little bit a little bit of a collector as i say i i yeah <laughs> i have a lot of makeup um so i think some of this might shock you some of my closest friends will know and i know i'm saying i love makeup but i have no makeup on the irony um but yeah that's let me flip the camera around and i'll show you um oh my hair's fuzzy as well oh oh uh, but let me show you what i'm up to so <laughs> we have got all of this makeup to sort uh these are my blushes my highlighters my bronzing products all in there is my complexion stuff all lipsticks up here and then oh my god guys you will not believe this but i had a big plastic box filled with all my kind of large palettes and the box broke down the stairs of my parents place it was absolutely devastating i'll put a picture on the screen luckily only a couple of damages um like this palette got a bit i have been able to like get it back into shape a little bit but all these two faced kind of uh tin palettes actually were the worst hit um, as you can see there, it's all a bit dinged and so are all the other ones. Um, so yeah, that was a bit devastating. But here are the Alex drawers. The well-known Alex drawers that everyone has and for a good reason. They're really great for storing makeup. Um, so that is the one from that I've had for years. And I've got myself a second one. So I'm going to have so much more room. I'm so happy to have some more room. And then we have this gorgeous faux pampas situation here i've been seeing these i don't know how to describe them they're almost like a single line drawing of a vase all over my instagram and i've been loving <laughs> faux pampas but my friend bought some from a website and it came and it was so small and thin um so when this brand i believe you pronounce it contempo reached out and asked if they wanted um if i wanted to have some of their goodies sent out to me i was very intrigued because i love the look but sometimes you buy this online and it, it doesn't it doesn't appear as you'd expect but these are actually faux pampas which in my opinion is a bit better because it doesn't drop um and also they're all pretty big and fluffy and you wouldn't know if you saw them from afar um, and i just think they look absolutely fab in this little vase they have loads of different ones of these vases. they did leave me a little discount code i'll pop that on the screen now um but i think just this and i'll probably put a couple of other little trinkets down there just for decoration i think that's going to be fab um then what else i've got a um 
drawer unit that's coming that fits perfectly in here for all my like t-shirts and stuff um I've also got like mirrors and artwork to put up on the wall and all these like bits and bobs um and then I've got my little Ricky skinny mirror over there that I need to kind of charge and set up um and then over here is where the sofa bed is going to be but sofa bed's not coming until May um so I don't know <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to wait in this video for the sofa bed to arrive. I think what I'll do is I'll do a little special video kind of showing the office when it's all done. Um, so, yeah, this is my job for the next couple of days. I've got some storage bins here, but I've left all my acrylic um, storage at home. So I'm going to do what I can. But yeah, I'm really excited to have all this sorted. I know, I know so many of you are going to comment and be like, wow, so much makeup. <laughs> um, but it just brings me joy. I love makeup so much. So um, yeah, please don't be mean. I know it's a lot of makeup, but it's how I choose to spend my money. So I don't judge how you spend yours. So please don't judge me how I spend mine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know how I'm going to set this up, but yeah, wish me luck. So hey guys, um, I just want to mention today's sponsor for the video, and that is Vac Life. So they kindly sent me um, this cordless handheld uh, little mini vacuum, uh, which has come in very very handy with the new house as you know i've been doing a lot of renovation and um with a lot of like uh flat pack furniture stuff like that comes so much cardboard and mdf dust all sorts and it's gotten quite messy um there are there is a bit of dirt on the stairs that i need to pick up um so yeah, when they reached out to me and asked if I would like to give this little handheld cordless vacuum a go, I was like, yes, please, definitely. Uh, so this is the main thing. It's actually very small, very compact. Um, it does come with a little charger like that. But again, very small, very compact. It also comes with what they call a crevice nozzle, uh, which is this um little tube so you can get into your crevices um and then it also comes with a brush tool uh, you can use that on stuff like uh thicker carpets um sofas stuff like that so um lots of useful little tools um and then also you get a spare filter which i don't think i've ever had a hoover that's come with a spare filter and that is a H-E-P-A filter, no less. Um, it also has got a built-in LED light. Um, so I think the point of these lights, I know a lot of very high-end um, hoovers have this. Any dust that you might not have seen casts a shadow so you can see it. Um, and there is... <laughs> the hoover um so apparently they say it's low noise i guess it's low noise compared to a a big old chunky hoover um it's also very fast charging this literally didn't take very long to charge at all and it also has a really long lasting run time um so these little hoovers are great for so many things for me personally i'm going to use these on my stairs um because i've got a corner going around the stairs it's very hard and very clunky to take my big vacuum cleaner up the stairs and um, so this is going great for that and also when my dad comes around and has a biscuit he gets crumbs everywhere so this is also going to be used for that but also because it is cable um less this is also great for the car as well you can take it out deep clean your car and also just so you know this is available on amazon this came next day when they said oh we're sending it to you i thought oh three to five days three to five days like normal literally next day amazon you buy it through amazon so if you've got prime oh there next day absolutely brilliant um and also it's a really great price for 
the uh, motor size that you're getting and the fact that it is a rechargeable model. I'm now going to quickly show you how well this sucks up everything um, on my stairs because my stairs need some help. So as you can see, I've got very creaky stairs, but I've also got lots of bits of like um, a bit of paint that's chipped off because of deliveries. Just some general bits and bobs. So I'm going to put the Hoover on now. Look how easy that is going into these little corners. It's so lightweight as well. That is absolutely fab. Honestly, so lightweight. Gets in right into the corners. Absolutely fab. We put the light on as well. Can you see any other bits? Yeah. Uh, so they have got a discount code for you today where you will save 15% off the price of a Vac Life handheld vacuum cleaner. Um, the link will be linked down below for the Amazon store, but also their official website if you do fancy taking a look. Um, so big thank you to Vac Life for um, sponsoring this portion of the video. We're going to be building this. It's the last flat pack of the house oh, i'm a little bit exhausted because i'm emptying it out and carrying it upstairs it's so heavy this is like a fake ikea and the instructions oh god they're like this is what we're making and the instructions look like they've been um photocopied like multiple times like they're really like blurry oh god not looking forward to this but i found this on ikea because ikea don't make um they don't actually make this they make a different one which is bit taller and has like a flappy thing at the top with a mirror and I, that was too big for what i wanted but it's the same style as the mile range um I think I think this was £105 worth of delivery. So it's very, very similar price to IKEA. Um, but you don't have to wait. This literally came two days later after I ordered it. So very, very fast delivery compared to IKEA. So um yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. I'm not gonna do a step by step, but I'll do interim um yeah, because this could be a win, but the instructions look really scary. Oh, God. So, guys, I'm working between all my makeup, but whoo, this is a biggie. There's a lot of bits, a lot of bits, but all the canisters, all the brackets are on. Oh, this is taking me a while, an hour, I think, just to do this. So, plodding along um here's all my bits i'm watching um this ricky gervais true geordie podcast i've been getting into this podcast he had a louis Farou on there as well um and i love uh ricky gervais as well so uh yeah it's currently what's keeping me going i should have taken me 37 minutes to get to this point exactly so yeah See you in the next one. Guys, I haven't filmed a lot because it's been a bloody bugger to get in uh, to build it. <laughs> I will say this is a lot harder to build than an IKEA um, one. The instructions are dodge. I bought something from um, eBay that was a lot cheaper than this, actually. And the instructions were really, really good. My TV unit in the living room. Um, but this... Oh, my days. And I've buggered it up a little bit. Can you see the... I've put them on the wrong way round, haven't I? But I'm not... I'm just going to leave that at the bottom. Um, but that's where it's going, in my wardrobe. Um, it's a great size because I can still access this area. I'll probably put coats and stuff here. And I think I'll be able to hang 
kind of like shorter things there like tops or something um so yeah i'm really pleased with it but whew, it is a bugger to build so hey guys a new update um i had a little impromptu trip to manchester and i saw Dua Lipa. it was amazing but i've come back with a sore throat um so yeah that's great um so i'm just gonna quietly do my makeup organization and not film it um i might try and show you at the end like each drawer how i've done it but i just really want to just i just want to do it for me i just want to get on with it unfortunately filming does it does add extra time and pressure onto just doing a small job if you know what I mean so please forgive me I don't feel very well and all I want to do is organize my makeup but to make up for it we have a little Primark home haul let me show you what I got so I got these absolutely gorgeous cream rainbowy design cushions these are gonna go on the sofa bed in the study upstairs so i did get two of them these were only 10 pounds each um i went into the primark in manchester like in the high street don't know what the area is called sorry guys i'm no mancunian um but their home department in manchester was incredible it was so so good i'm so jealous of you guys it put my one to shame then I did get some more of these. Um, they didn't have any of the cashmere for me. Sorry, guys, that was really bad. Uh, they didn't have... Oh, my God, that's eyeshadow. I've not got jaundice. Uh, but they didn't have any of the cashmere left. But they had lots of these amber and bay leaf ones. And they smell very similar. Pound each. I bought three, but Dad has taken one. But that's okay. And then I did pick up this little um, acrylic stand for lipsticks because i have bought a lot of lipsticks recently uh, so i needed some more oh okay there it goes i needed some more storage then you will have seen this before but it bloody broke didn't it so i bought another one because i really liked it i think i might put it down here with these um these are the other ones from that um, company I was telling you about earlier. These are the tall ones. How cute are they? I feel like that's just going to be like a nice little decorative area with a little candle in it. Really cute, really nice. Just adds a little... You can tell I'm a little bit under the weather, guys. I'm sorry. That's all my kitchen paperwork I need to still sort out and put into folders. And then finally, my favourite thing from this whole mini haul this gorgeous jug this was only eight pound i feel like this if this was in like zara home or something it'd be like 30 pounds i absolutely love it it's a rattan um glass jug i think it's gorgeous i absolutely love it um so yeah that's my little haul guys oh such a vibe i love it i love everything i got but yeah, I'm just feeling a bit down in the dumps today, so, um, excuse, excuse me. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm also delusional. <laughs> so, guys, here is the first drawer done, and it's all my complexion products. Um, so, fun fact, I don't really wear foundation, so I've just popped all the foundation I had right at the back, just in case I ever want to wear it again but I don't. <laughs> then I've got a couple of like little face palettes back there. I love that Too Faced one. And of course I've got the Hourglass one. And then I've got all of my powders. I'm a big powder fan. Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite. That's a little backup I've got there. Um, I, am, I do mainly use loose powders, so I've got quite a few of them. And then a couple of little compacts. Then I have my primers. I will say I do love a glowy primer. I love um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and this one this is a brightening youth glow love that but i do really like this if you want to kind of smooth your skin out a little bit and of course i've got the good old becca rrp rrp not rrp <laughs> 
and then I have all my concealers so because I don't wear foundation concealer is definitely like what I use a lot of um these even aren't these are just the ones that I kind of put in to storage while I move everything so I don't have my like absolute favorites here because I have that in a makeup bag at the house um but I love this dose of colors one but it's really hard to get now um this one's pretty nice from ColourPop. again like cover effects is really hard to get as well now um but i really like this makeup revolution one that's a backup of my favorite maybelline um eraser um, and then i've got more kind of um matte full coverage ones here but i'm definitely more of a luminescent type of girl um but yeah that's like my complexion drawer so yeah first one down nine more to go so this is probably going to be one of the most empty drawers um i love bronzers but how many bronzers do you need definitely not even this many um so i've got all my cream um and liquid bronzers here a couple of like contoury palettes at the back i'm going to bring them forward actually a little bit so i can see them a bit better um and then i've got um this gucci bronzer look at that packaging stunning uh physician's formula butter bronzer as you can see very well loved hula two faced hourglass coasters and then a couple of charlotte tilbury you'll notice that charlotte tilbury is definitely one of my favorite brands you'll see her throughout this collection um but yeah i really like this because it just it's so easy to see everything i wish all my other drawers would be maybe a little less empty uh, like this one but We've got a lot of makeup still to put away. <laughs> um, but I hope you're enjoying it. Here we have the... Oh my god, I think my throat's getting sore and sore as this video goes on. Sorry I keep bringing it up. It just hurts. <laughs> it just hurts. Um, so here's the blushes. I feel like blushes have become a bit of a trend recently. Like blush is really, really in, so... There's a lot of blushes. Um, I decided to not put my palettes right, right at the back and to bring some of them forward. I used this little um, pot I got from b and Q in the in the clearance uh, just to put kind of all the creams um, and liquids just together, just to kind of protect them a little bit because some of them are like squeezy tubes. Um, then I've got all my like little blushes. That's just in a little, I think it's a jewelry box. I just split it into, you'll see, you'll see the other half in the highlighter drawer. And then I've tried to not put too many things on top of each other. Um, but if I have like here, I've put the one on the bottom, the shade I don't use as much. Um, but yeah, I have a little bit of room at the back, but that's probably going to be for all uh, the ones that are currently in my makeup bag. So it is a pretty full drawer, but I like being able to see way more of the products because they used to be like lined up behind each other. So this is way better. Hey, oh. I'll show the way to do a bottle. Yeah, you can write. Hi guys, welcome to the kitchen. Um, this is, excuse me. Oh. Here she welcome comes. Welcome to mum and dad's kitchen, not Rebecca's kitchen, which is still to be seen. Yeah, they've not, uh, actually you probably, the video will probably be up after this. All oh, right, okay. This is the house vlog. Because I was ill, it's taken a bit of a delay. Um, so, Although quite pretty much everything is pretty much now done. And now I'm just getting bits and bobs to like finish it off and be able to like properly live there. Um, so I went to Ikea. I didn't film when I was there because I just wasn't enjoying myself. I did get put a picture up here. Uh, the little free tier trolley for my bathroom. Um, just because they're so useful for that kind of storage. You know the one I've got in the study in the office, the black one. Yes. <laughs> in my in my second bedroom. Um, and if you didn't know, you can actually get lids for each of the sections. So I actually got two lids. Um, I don't know if I'll use two lids on what. They're they're not cheap. These are like ten pound each, but they are like solid wood. Um, and they can just like cover everything that's in there just to make it a bit neater. So I've just got two for now. Whether I'll use one on each one or two just on one, we'll see. And I didn't want to spend like 40 quid on lids. 
for obvious reasons. Mum's doing the cat food. Perfect timing. Then I got these um, storage boxes for knickers and socks and stuff. Stinks. Sorry, people, if you can smell this. Oh, yeah, that's extra pungent today. Ooh, it's warmish. <laughs> Um, then mum came round for lunch today actually and it was very nice we had a Iceland meal in a bag salmon risotto which is making all the noise um, and yeah it was really, I like those bags they're very quick and easy and you've got you've got your protein you've got your carbohydrate and you've got your vegetable in it and it's like a lot of vegetables as well so it's very good I went and bought some afterwards but mum did have one complaint and that was the seat was too hard so um Ooh, yeah i've got you some cushions um i decided to just get the ones in ikea because i actually went to the chair department and uh because they've got like two styles they've got these more kind of square ones and then they have these really really like um cushy ones but the color of the beige one of the big fat cushy one was almost a bit tanny yellow and I didn't like it and this actually um fit the seat a lot better as well so these were five pounds each I don't know if that's a good or bad anymore I feel like Ikea's prices are kind of I think that's a good price you think that's a good price yeah, how so. much do you think one of these being like John Lewis oh that's five pounds oh okay my I'll dad's take. my dad's coming down the stairs and doesn't know I'm filming so Prepare for him to interrupt. Um, got this nice serving platter. Lovely. My yes. friends Em and Liv have this. And I did have a look on Very the back useful. to see where they got it from. And it was from Ikea. It, but it's that um, that fancy range. Say hello, Bill. Wave because Rebecca's doing some filming. Oh, yeah. Um, then I got you something, Mum. Oh, nice. Orange and elderflower marmalade. Ooh, Organic. Really nice. That'd be interesting. Like then I got these glass bottles um, to do my organisation, kitchen, labelling. I got two. And these were out of stock for a while. They're back in stock now. I think they're really cute. What have you got in there then? Um, fabric softener and scent boosters. Uh, and then I also got the smaller, Shopping. the smaller serving dish oh, that's nice. as well that matched the other one. They weren't cheap, cheap. I think the big one was eight. Yeah. I think this was four, but I think they're really nice. That's reasonable, really. Reasonable. Really can't expect stuff for free. Can't send stuff for nothing. Yeah. So then I got some funnels. Oh, oh, they're useful. They are useful. Your dad needs a funnel. Well, you better guess what. <laughs> No, so we need a funnel because we haven't got well, one. I might let you have the big one. Oh, no, so don't worry about it, Rebecca. We can get them in. I don't one. need both. Oh, she doesn't need Together, both. you give them. Yeah, so you can have the marmalade and Dad can have the funnel. Okay. Because I've got that. Bargain, isn't it? I got that to put, to funnel in okay. stuff into the bottles. Because you don't want... And the green suits up. Well, there you go. Um... I got some frames. Never have too many frames. I got some chopsticks oh, yeah. because they had really nice patterns on them. Um, and I just thought it might just be a bit of fun if I have some friends over or something. We have a, a dim, I like dim sum Chinese dumplings, those kind of things. Then I just got these really nice tea towels. I really loved all the designs and the colours. These were like 2 50 and just good to have. Then for uh, my, what do you call it? Shoe storage downstairs. Oh, oh. <laughs> they can see all the spice cupboard, mum. <laughs> I got this mirror for um, lipstick for when I leave the house because I realised I haven't got a mirror in the hallway. So I just got a little one of those. Then 
I got two of these really nice glass bowls. Um, I didn't get four just because I thought it would probably take up. I don't think I really use them that often. I'm either going to serve stuff in them or maybe just have like a fruit salad or I don't know. Something cute in them. <laughs> then I got a couple of bags of sweets. Berry flavoured hearts. And apple flavoured bunnies. And then finally some blueberry cordial and that's um, i can't believe how much it all came to really up. yeah all of that was 153 pounds oh and i got your mats i got mama outdoor mats so um yeah it does add up in ikea because you're like oh that's a good price that's a good price but now 150 pound less off but i've got cute bowls so you know and you've got cushions for your seats yes my mum's not going to moan about her ass anymore but yeah that's just a little little haul in the house vlog bye so guys excuse the weird angle i'm trying to hide the rest of my um office space um from you so i could do a proper reveal of this room um, because some things have arrived and I just wanted to have its own moment when it's all together but I have just finished these damn drawers um I will say like the thing is I don't know if I've mentioned this but um Ikea don't do this size um so this eBay alternative was the only option but it was a lot harder than Ikea um let me the instructions are a bit rickety like it's like they've been photocopied um and they're not very clear also i'd say the mdf isn't as good quality and i'm absolutely covered in dust um and like little things like this um just kind of let it down a bit um but it's it's good enough it's good enough and it fits the space perfectly um oh my god look at that. stop looking stop looking um so obviously i'm back after my tonsillitis moment so i've still got all of this makeup to sort out i'm kind of switching between the two um jobs but that's one so now i can completely focus on my makeup so i'm gonna crack on with that tomorrow i think i found the piece of artwork i want for this wall because it's very barren <laughs> um so i think i'm gonna order that but i'll save that for the reveal video um but yeah really really glad building that is over and now i just need to fill it with all my clothes guys so i'm back to the makeup organization um this was the hardest draw to do so far um because it's all kind of like lots of different formulas types of products glosses liquid lipsticks and i don't have all the same um storage solutions so this side this is all lip glosses and then i've just got some kind of like lip oil lip care products there and then this is all my like liquid lipsticks we've got um lip tints here um we've got the more kind of like high-end bougie liquid lips there um but mainly a mix and then they're my like little liquid lipsticks <laughs> um for whatever reason like um dior liquid lipsticks are really short and stubby as well as chanel's they're very very short um and then i have like all my like lipstick pencils in like a bin that's deep enough for me to move it around to find what i'm looking for i did put it in a shorter one i think i tried it in this one first and it completely filled the box so that's where we are that's all my lips done apart from all the ones i have at home uh which i've been using <laughs> so um yes I think I need to get some more of these containers, but yeah, I think I should order them sooner rather than later. Yeah, you're currently between my legs, guys. Now I've got to sort all my eyeshadow palettes out and that's gonna be crazy. So guys, here's my small palette drawer. Um, 
it's definitely better than what I had previously because I basically had like all of my single shadows and glitters and toppers and small palettes all in one drawer. Um, I have used a couple of acrylic or little storage things just to kind of put the smallest palettes all together and I quite like that. It's just what counts as a small palette. There are so many different sizes and shapes so they want a little bit tricky. Um, so I'm happy with where it is now but I feel like this might change um, when I start like actually using my collection again. Guys, I've done it. There is Manny helping me through. The eye product situation was the hardest. The lips were nothing. Um, so let me give you a tour. Um, so here we have all my kind of single eyeshadows, toppers, creams, falsies at the back. I never wear false eyelashes. Yet I have accumulated loads. <laughs> whether it's through like um you know sometimes cult beauty do like bundles and things like that that's where this is from um or like free gift i think i got those hooded ones as a free gift i very 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 occasionally wear lashes so i'll just keep them for that moment this is what all my like sticks liquids like the longer longer things that's gonna have all my new mascaras brow products stuff like that that i haven't opened yet um then down here i've got all my kind of like steeler glitter and glow like liquid glittery shadows urban decay glitter liners these milk pigments i love um, and these kvd dazzle sticks are stunning um and then just a couple of pressed glitter again i don't really wear a lot of pressed glitter uh some glitter glue a backup primer uh some black up cream matte shadows and then just loads of like glittery sparkly topper shadows then we have the small eyeshadow drawer a lot going on um i do love these natasha Denoni minis um they are one of my favorites i've got my um charlotte tilbury there and my little obsession guilty pleasure i love these dior quads absolutely stunning i've now got all of the ones that i want which is very nice treats to myself i always buy them either at duty free or um on ebay and never ever ever pay full price for them but they are absolutely stunning um then oh my knees my back these are what i call my medium size eyeshadow palettes i've got all my huda natasha Dodona midis uh, all my Too Faced, um, a couple of Urban Decay, Sigma, um, ABH, Luna, Beauty by Manny, um, and then a couple of Charlotte Tilbury Biggins. And then finally, um, this is like my larger palette or just kind of funny shaped ones. Uh, so I've got Pat McGrath, uh, bigger Natasha Denona ones, um, some more Pat McGrath there, Lime Crime, um, uh, Beauty Bay, lots of Morphe ones over there as well. But yeah, whew, that took a really long time, but I'm really, really happy with how everything's laid out. And it's the first time in a while that all my makeup has been um, put away and not just kind of like everywhere. So ah, I know I've got so much makeup, guys, and I know some of you are going to comment about it, but um you know we all have our passions and mine is handbags and makeup so um i absolutely love my collection and where it's at and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed having a little sneak peek of what i have so guys that is the end of today's house vlog um a bit random just because of me getting a bit poorly and we are kind of coming to the end of like the first phase phase one of the renovation all the big work is kind of done now i am going to be doing reveal videos for the office that i'm in now <laughs> there's a couple of little things that i need to finish but that will be up soon um and my living room which is going to be really exciting um obviously i've got the bathroom that still needs to be done but i've got to save some money so also <laughs> big thank you to back life for sponsoring today's video every little helps um when you've got your first house and honestly i'm so impressed with it it literally 
is very very powerful very lightweight i think lightweight is 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 a really important thing especially when uh hoovering because when it's really heavy oh anyway if you are interested that it's all linked down below for you as well as that discount code um if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe because obviously i've got those reveal videos on the way um give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment down below and i will catch you in the next one bye